What's going on, y'all? This is Devontae. This is Reaper Training. And y'all now tuned in to the Reaper Motivation Podcast. I'm glad for y'all to join me tonight, man. I appreciate the support and the love. And um, today, we are talking about, um, I guess, probably at this point, just an over-talked-about topic. But I feel as though it's, it's still prevalent. It's still different, you know, viewpoints to have on it. And, um, you know, I figure I, it's, it's really, the, like, the red pill, which is what we're talking about today, the, uh, my thoughts on the red pill community. Um... There is no reaper motivation without the red pill community. And that's just me being honest. It like the the idea for me having a podcast, the idea for me writing a book, the idea for me having a YouTube channel, the idea for me what else came from that, man? Uh business cards, all, all, all those things like just some of the more entrepreneur entrepreneurial um uh, um ventures that I made in the last couple years, like all that stems from the red pill community and uh you know i figure it's only right that i speak on it since it has such a big part in you know what i'm doing now and you know me getting accomplishing some of my goals and even outside of just the uh entertainment side of my life like uh you know the, the it, it's it's touched my it's touched it's touched my life in a lot of different ways and um i feel as though my viewpoint on it may be a bit different from most but we'll see uh, you know i might listen back to it and be like man that was a generic ass red pill video or i might look back on it and you know i gave some insightful information we're we'll gonna find out i guess but um so if y'all don't know what the red pill is i probably should start out with this um what the red pill is it it, it came around back um the first i heard of it was 20. 20- 18 but i think it's probably been around since as long as about 2015 but essentially what what the red pill is is men uh developing an ideology uh that um of female nature and what they essentially say female nature is is that women are hypergamous and hypergamous or hypergamy means uh they date up which i mean that's that's a, a simple version of it there's a whole bunch of extra things that people throw in there but that's essentially what it is the reason why i got so big was a lot of dudes getting their heart broken or just not being able to get a girl in in general and you know they go to the internet angry looking for answers trying to figure out what they're doing wrong and they find out about the hypergamy thing and i think what the big thing about hypergamy and um why i think it got so big was because dudes were thinking that we we kind of there's so many ways to come at this <laughs> this is why i knew this was gonna be a longer uh podcast the red pill got big well hold on before i go into that right i'm gonna take this because i got my notes written down and i was getting ready to jump ahead but let me go by my notes and hopefully i can come back around properly so how i found the red pill personally right is i went um actually when i was in a relationship still my uh two-year relationship i was in a few years back um i found ams which is a he's one of the biggest red pill content creators i found his videos and at first i thought i just thought they were interesting like i I didn't um obviously i had a girlfriend so i wasn't in a mind state of like anger at women i'm still not now I've, i've actually never really had any uh residual hatred towards women honestly like if y'all listen to enough of my content i know that i don't trust anybody so it's there, there's no i don't specify oh i don't trust them because of this or this like you know it's whatever i i i come at people i i interact with you how you treat me you, as long as you don't do no goofy shit to me i'm gonna be pretty cool with you if you do some goofy shit or you acting weird or you moving kind of wacky then shit 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 goes left you know but that's just how i've always carried it but so i found ams um really fucked with his content and funny enough the things that ams was saying right this is what i thought was interesting about the red pill when i first heard about the red pill for one i a lot of things that he was saying i'd heard before like whether it had been from friends or older men or i'd heard a lot of the things that he was talking about before like my dad told me 
um, when I was young, young, I want to say maybe, mm, maybe I was like around like eight. I think my dad had told me when I was like eight or seven or something like that because I was trying to get a girlfriend when I was in elementary school. And he had told me he was like, you know, women want a man that they can show off. You know, they date up. I mean, they 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 women uh want a want a prize. I was like, a prize? Well, what's wrong with me? Now here here's and you know this is this is gonna be important later. I want y'all to remember my mindset when he said this to me and what I thought when he said that. I immediately felt kind of mad slash sad because I didn't think I was a prize. Like when he said that, because at the time I was, you know, I was little, but I was super fat. I was, uh, you know, kind of dingy. Like I was just like, I, I didn't look at myself as like, I, like I couldn't imagine a girl being with me at that time or even going into middle school when my dad told me that again uh, on the phone one time, I never saw myself as ever being something that a woman could brag about to anybody. They wouldn't have a reason to. I was too average or below average. I want y'all to remember that statement because it's going to be important for later in the video. That was my mindset at the time. So when that came about, I um I was kind of like okay, but um I was kind of like okay, but you know as I got older, I started to see what he said was true. You know the girls did want the guys with the nice hair. The girls did want the guys that dressed nice. The girls did want the guys that were in shape. They did want the football players and all that other stuff. So as I got older, I started to say, well, you know what, he wasn't lying. So I, you know, and you know, it was. But then you know, I started coming into my own realization of certain things, and so I kind of never, it never really bothered me because I heard it early on. Now, when it comes into when I found the red pill. The one thing that I took from the red pill, which was when I found it, was the self-improvement side. Now, the thing about the red pill, when it first started, like you're looking at the red pill from like 2015 to like 2017, it was not the red pill basically is what it's kind of is right now. It's just straight complaining. That's all it was. It was just dudes that were heartbroken and mad and bitter, you know, divorced uh, dating coaches and all this other stuff They just was angry at the world They was mad at women They was just, you know, feminism this and this and that And they were just angry about it So they just made contact to, content to complain And men got on there and complained with them And they all bitched and moaned And, and uh, you know, while holding hands in a circle and, and rocking, swaying side to side You know, with like a anime intro In the back blaring And some Drake Like that's that's basically what the Red Pill was and then it evolved to because after a while, dudes are like, "All right, I get it. Women want money. Women want guys who are in shape. Women want this and that and that. What the fuck is like? What do I do to to still? I'm like, dudes are like, I'm lonely. Like motherfucker, I've been beating my meat for eight months. The, the skin's coming off my hand and my meat. What the fuck you want me to do with this? I, okay, I'm, I'm done complaining. And then, um, you know, creators start saying, "Well, you know what?" How about we self-improve so that we are the girl, I mean, all the guy that girls can show off. And that's when you had the AMSs come along and the stuff is cool. Like they was like, hey, you know what? Like dudes are tired of just having a bitching. Like we're, we're tired of complaining. What, what do we do to fix this? And that's when they started talking about being on your purpose and all this other stuff and making more money. And, and now here's the thing about it, right? Everything that I'm talking about is difficult. So that's when you got this real big split in the red pill community because what dudes started realizing and what dudes started um, like coming to terms with is going to the gym, eating healthy, uh, going to develop a skill and trade and going to school and working these long hour shifts and having to get my credit good enough to get an apartment and then pay for that apartment and all this this is this is a lot of fucking work and while you're doing all this work not only you busting your ass you're not getting no ass because i'm telling you right now if you hustling unless you're a dude that is already viewed as pretty attractive by women or you just you know have a good talk game or anything like that which uh a lot of dudes don't you know you're being very charismatic that means that whole time while you hustling you ain't getting no cheeks so now these dudes, now they know the, what the truth is. 
But they also too lazy to want to do work. So now they're just they're back at just being mad. And and here's here's, here's the thing about it. They started rebelling against the uh the red pill coaches that preach self improvement because it's like, well, the women don't have to self improve. I don't want to self improve. And now you have the rift that we have now where it's it's like this this little you got the women arguing that dudes, the g- girls are finding the red pill content more and more. You know, these dudes, the red pill community in and of itself is arguing with each other, and now you got this little fuss on, you know, social media. I wanna throw a little tidbit in here too. In the grand scheme of things, none of this shit matters. I just wanna say that one more time. Like none of this shit really and when I mean none of this shit matters, I mean like in our day to day lives, bro, if you was just to live your life happily, none of this should matter to you. Like, if you was to just find your purpose in life and do things that made you happy, be around people who made you happy, and just enjoy this one little life that we have, you wouldn't give a fuck about social media. You wouldn't give a fuck about red pill, blue pill, purple pill, anything. You wouldn't give a fuck about none of that. You wouldn't give a fuck about what women are looking for. You wouldn't give a fuck about who doesn't like you, who does like you. You would just be. Grateful and enjoying some one life that we have, and uh, you know, you're not starving, you're not sick, you're not disabled, you're just enjoying your life. But back to the regularly, regularly scheduled programming. Um, so that's what we are right now, right? That's what the red pills become, right? Now, the 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 thing is, there there's a cause and effect to everything. So now, like I said, the red pill got big because there was dudes that. Either one, were heartbroken, right? Two, had gotten married and got divorced. And, you know, we know with the marriage laws and shit like that, if you got married and got divorced, you probably got got reamed. I'm talking about shorty probably threw on like a 13-inch strap on and and did you like, 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 like Ms. Natural in her prime. Like, just went boom, boom, boom. Shorty was tearing your ass up in court. I mean, she, the judge was like, damn, she ain't got to do bro like that. She, she over there, she, she doing, uh, fucking, gosh, she went yoga moves. You feel me? So that's, that's, that's the reality of, of a lot of dudes that got married. So they went red pill, definitely. And then you got, um, the dudes who are, not only uh, were they struggling or not not only were they not heartbroken or married they just can't get anything at all and i'm talking about there's a lot of dudes like i've met dudes 30 year old virgins dudes have never seen a woman naked before at 30 some years i know them i've met them like i've not this is not something i saw just on like social media or youtube or anything like that i've met dudes who can't get a date I'm talking about four, five, six years with no date. Who aren't bad looking dudes? Dudes who were in in their mid twenties who had never kissed a girl before. You see what I'm saying? So then, there, so those are your three makeups of why the red pill community had a place to begin with because they're mad about it. Now, I want to talk about a a big misconception. Oh well, a misconception in my eyes. You know, all this is my opinion, but. Uh, what I believe is a misconception about the red pill is that the red pill community is a direct result of feminism. I believe feminism played a part in it, but I don't think the the red pill community is a result of feminism fully. Now, if you're talking about as far as the dudes that got got uh, gang banged in court after getting married and got divorced. All right, yes, that 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 was a result of feminism. That's where those laws came from. But if you're talking about the other two people I was talking about, right? The the heartbreak and the uh and the guys that can't get anything at all. To me, that's not feminism. To me, that's social media. I'm going to tell you why. You see, with feminism, all feminism if anything, to me feminism, the biggest detriment that feminism has done as far as dating wise is that the marriage rates or have gone down pretty bad, and that's just because if you if you got any common sense about you, you're not gonna want to get married if because like what I just talked about, these dudes getting gang banged in court, or or you're just not gonna find a woman. Like I, I think the last video I made, I told y'all about just how bad the, the dating game is. Like feminism, there there is no no wife qualities that you're really gonna. You might find one once in a blue moon, but it's hard. I mean, I'm talking about like. I'm telling you right now, y'all thought I was joking. If a woman right now, 
for a second or third date instead of like while I was trying to set a date with her, if she stopped me and said, let me come over and cook for you. I'm not, I, I swear, I swear to God, I'm not lying. I'm not capping. When she got over here, I would immediately check her for an Adam's apple. I'm like, there's no way you're a female. Some, something's up here. What, what, who sent you? I'm going, I'm, 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 I'm going to need your, I'm going to need some identification. I'm going to need a birth, a birth, uh, what that shit called? I mean, I'm going to need a birth certificate. I need to see female on it. And if all that does say female, you know what else? I need to call my homies. And make sure that they didn't set you up to this. And I need to make sure you don't know my homies because maybe they y'all had a little contract where y'all was gonna play a joke on me. I wouldn't believe it. I would not believe it. It it is is too and I already know some people's gonna be like, Well, it is common. I'm I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A five, yes. If I if I was to, if you was to start dating some fives, that they're not getting all these crazy options that a lot of the, now a five subjective a five to me might be a, a seven to you but let's just say your average woman that most people wouldn't say is all that attractive her she she might do that because she might feel the need to want to do that extra effort but for the most part you're not getting that and the reason why you're not getting that is because of feminism they're not brought up to think like that if you me just saying that right there to, to the first thing most women to say is that, that that's you that's her being a slave you know what i mean there's no such thing as catering it's, that's so if if feminism is, if feminism is to blame for anything that's more for people who can get in relationships but choose not to or people who can get married but choose not to that's more so so i don't even think and i think that's more of a detriment to women than it is dudes honestly from being and the reason why i think that is because if you're a dude like like i'll take myself for example i can be in a relationship i to pretty much almost 85 maybe 90 percent of the women I, I talk to as far as dating try to force me into a relationship i'm not biting because i'm like i'm just not with it like, i don't even want like i'm i'm focused on my goals but it's also just like i'm not nah like if if to to, to get a motherfucker like me to settle down boy let me tell you something y'all see me if y'all see me posting a girl on my on my instagram talk about some happy anniversary some shit like that just know that is a a special i'm talking about a special ass woman because it's, it's it's not even I'm cool, folks. Like, it's not even... And there's a lot of other dudes who think just like me. You think it isn't, but there's a lot. Like, if, the, if you're not hurting to get nothing, then more than likely you have that attitude. So, if anything, the feminism thing, like, it hurts... Because the reason why I say it hurts women more than us is because if you just wasn't brought up to know how to keep a man in general... They're running across a motherfucker like me. You might really like me, and you might really want to settle, but you have no clue on how to how to make that shit work. And um, and people, and, and when I say people like me, I'm talking about people on their purpose and who are charismatic enough to get women. I don't have the time to teach you. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I got too much other shit going on to sit here and, and try to show you how to how to love me. You know what I mean? So it's just not how that goes. So. It'll hurt them more in the long run than it hurts us. Now, going back to to the uh, red pill thing, the reason why I say social media created the red pill community is because if you got a a, a dude who, all right, let's 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 take an example, right? Let's say you're uh, uh, let's say an average dude. Let's say a guy's about five sits, right? Five sits, and then let's also say bro is. I'm not going to say fat, but let's say he's like like 20% body fat. Not fat, could be in better shape, but you know he's not, you know he's not a world beater not like that, right? Okay. Now let's also say this dude is making average money. Let's say he makes yeah, 25 to $30,000 a year. Let's say $30,000, right? And he lives with, with um either his parents or a roommate. Let's matter of fact, let's say he lives with, with a roommate. He has two roommates. This is your average 20-year-old male, honestly. Like, this is, like, literally, like, what I'm describing to you is your average 20-year-old male. This, I, this, this is probably, we all know, the person I just described, we all know 15 of them. <laughs> Off the top of our head, we know, like, 15 to 20 of them. You know what I'm saying? So, that dude, right, if he's not super charismatic or if he's not super 
If he's not well versed in social interactions, and if y'all heard me talking this before, we're losing our ability to to interact socially with each other because of just you know technology and being antisocial and everything like that. So if you already have a hard time interacting, you're an average dude with an average look, and on top of that, a lot of these dudes like. I, I talk. I don't want to act like I'm talking bad about video games because I, I like video games and I've, I've played a lot of video games. But I feel like video games are harming the fuck out of men in a lot of ways because yes, it's a good it's a it's a it's a good pastime. But what the video games does is it robs you of anything that's interesting about you. And what I mean that what I mean by that is this: if let's say all you do is video games, right? Let's say when you get home outside like you don't go to the gym you have friends but not a big group of friends and you may go you maybe go out once a month the rest of the times you either work or you playing games and, and eating you, if you don't have any hobbies if you don't have anything about you that's interesting that that's fun when you do meet these women you don't know anything that you you don't have anything interesting about you. you don't have any interesting views you don't have like a lot like a lot of times your identity is the video game and i know a lot of dudes would be like oh well she should like that because she I, she gets this, this she knows i'll stay in the house and won't cheat that's boring if, if that's boring as shit i'm gonna keep the, the one thing i'm gonna you know i'm gonna try to drop some gems through this a bored woman is a gone woman. Y'all remember that. If, if she is bored, she will be gone. You can count on that as sure as the sun is going to come up. If she's bored, she's going to leave. So if all you do is play video games, do something else. Find something else that's interesting about you that you can do to make yourself more fun. Because if that's all you do, you're limiting yourself. And you need to interact with people. It is different than talking through a little microphone and talking to people. And again, I want to emphasize this. I'm not talking bad about video games because I like video games. I, I'm not, but I'm just saying that too much of anything is bad. Everything is good is good in moderation. You should like you you can't do anything to the utmost uh, utmost degree and and think that you know it's not going to be a detriment. Now that being said, if you're a dude who's making money off of your like that's your craft, or you got a, a successful Twitch or something like that, then then fine, you know what I mean. But uh, I would definitely say, I, I would definitely say you want to um, moderation, bro. It's just I don't I don't know I I don't like the reason why I'm I'm so iffy about this. I, I hate talking bad about video games. I like like I said I like video games, but. I can see the detriment that it's doing to a lot of these young dudes. And I feel like it's going to get just, just worse. Like, I look at some of these, like Kyler Murray. Um, I was hearing Kyler Murray had a birthday party. And, like, his family and all his friends are there for his birthday party. And he locked himself in his room to play Xbox. I'm like, bro, like, th that's, like, it, it's just, you know, it, 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 but that's going to be the reality for a lot of dudes. Socially fucking awkward. I'm telling you right now, Kyler Murray at 5'9". Average looking dude, if he could not play football, Kyler Murray would be one of these motherfuckers on this on this uh platform, on these red pill platforms talking about some you know, I can't get a date and yada 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 because you y'all you you not having these interactions. Um so now, you know, so I just wanted to so get into that. So what do I think is positive about the red pill? Um off gate. Number one, the most positive thing about Red Pill to me is the self-improvement side. I love the self-improvement side of Red Pill. I feel like the self-improvement side of Red Pill is phenomenal. I, I think that, like I told you, I'm beginning, the, the self-improvement side of Red Pill is the reason for a lot of things. It's the reason why I have a skincare routine now. It's the reason why I um had why I wrote a book. It's the reason why I'm writing another book. It's the reason why... I got the podcast and the YouTube channel. It's the reason why, um, uh, shit, what else? I mean, I, that, that's probably mainly it. It's the reason behind a lot of things. The self-improvement side is, is huge to me. You know, maybe not the fitness side because I was in the fitness before I found the red pill, but like a lot of other things is, is in big part due to the, um, uh, red pill community. And, um, to me, that's a great positive. Another positive to me, honestly, is this, Stopping the nice guy shit. I honestly feel like a lot of us are, are raised up to kiss women's ass, and that's 
that's dumb. Like we sh- you shouldn't kiss anybody's ass. I don't give a fuck whether it was a female, a dog, a a a, a, a roach, whoever. You should not be kissing no one's ass. No one likes an ass kisser, and I, I think a lot of us were brought up to be ass kissers. You know what I mean? I I remember I could harpen back when I was in college. There was a um, there was a um class that I had. It was like a uh, I want to say psychology. It was, it was some type of class I had in college. Um. And I remember it, that we were going over. Oh, it was, lit, it was literature or something like that. Something like that. I can't remember. Anyhow, um, we were going over a piece that uh, somebody had wrote about uh, women or something like that. I can't remember who it was. It was a poet. And I remember when I wrote my um, my response to this piece. I wish I could find it because I know I saved some of my old work from college. I got to see if I can look for it. But I remember in the, the work, I'm describing women as like... As goddesses Like I remember I vividly remember I can't tell you Everything I put But I was like They're like goddesses That need to be praised And, and put on the pe- I, I'm not even And this is not me joking Like this is what I wrote This is like 18 year old me Putting all this shit on paper And I'm looking back on it And I'm like That is the goofiest shit On fucking earth Cause on who the fuck wants to be seen As a fucking Imagine somebody Imagine how weird it'd be For somebody to call you Something like that Like you'd be like Bro I'm not all that Imagine somebody walked with you And say yo bro you Jesus you're just like Jesus. You're just an amazing individual. You'd be like, bro, chill the fuck out. I'm I'm me. Like, well, that's that's literally how women feel. Like, we're like, bro, like, goddamn, I'm like, yeah, you like me, but relax, bro. Like, this motherfucker been fucking catching my farts with a with, with, with paper bags and shit and saving them. Like, yo, calm your goofy ass down. That's how they that's how these women are looking at y'all. So it's like, you know, it's been Dying that down a lot And I feel like that's very positive Because the ass kissing shit is Don't get me wrong It's still gonna be there You know what I mean You could go under any baddies Post on Instagram And see some goofy Love your body babe Absolute god It's the most beautiful thing on earth Fucking goofy Like that Ugh <laughs> Things get me so bad But yeah You can still see that shit But in, a, in a, Overall I feel like that's starting to Dwindle a little bit Which is a good thing um, another positive I, I like about the red pill is, um, it's making people, you know, try to find. Cause here's the thing: if you're if you're a dude and and you've been failing miserably, miserably in the dating game, the red pill will f- slowly but surely force you to start finding other other reasons, other ways to enjoy your life. Cause you don't want to be miserable and you're still gonna struggle. Some dudes is gonna struggle for a while until you get, you know, in your bag. That's just how life's always been. You know, it's just, you know, it used to be you can struggle and get you like if you're a dude and you're worldwide not worldwide, but like for the most part you're not that attractive to women and you're a below average dude, you can go get you a four and have a great life. Real life, get you a four or five, you know what I mean? You know, she's she's definitely not that pretty, but you know what? Y'all cool. Y'all cool together. Y'all get some, you know, some kids. They fours and fives, you know what I mean? Like, y'all just, you know what I mean? Y'all do y'all thing. Y'all, you have a happy, decent life. You know what I mean? De- man, the, 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 the below average dudes can't even get a five no more. They can't even get a five no more. I'm going to be honest with you. Like... And I hadn't talked about it on my platform I used to I, I've, I've stopped doing it I used to have this thing I called a night bunny Where every now and again I, I hit me a 5 or a 6 What night bunny was to me Was any any girl that I thought was below a 7 Like I just didn't take them on dates I just like called them over And um I'm gonna be honest with you Like I, the part of the reason why I stopped messing with night bunnies It was a few reasons But the, one of the main ones was like Man these night bunnies think they ace out this bitch What the fuck is going on I'm like, man, if I'm going to deal with all this, I might as well go deal with a bad joint. Y'all, y'all got the game backwards, shorty. Who, 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 like, they, so if they acting like that, I'm like, yo, if you would do, if they, if they think they nines and, and you would do, you know, this is a five. And I think, I think that's a big thing that's gotten the red pill community so big is that like you as a dude, if you are below average, you like, man, I know from the bottom of my heart, this is a fucking five and I should be able to get this five, but she doesn't want me. Why don't you want me? You're a five. You shouldn't be acting like this. And hey, what the fives call themselves? They call themselves baddies. They call themselves baddies. I'm talking about I, I, real live, real live, bro. 
I've met some. So, matter of fact, Kevin Samuels got a whole platform. You can go in there and look at the, those women that he interviews. And if you listen to them talk and you look at them, you're like, they really wholeheartedly believe that they are like supermodel level bad women. I'm, that's just that is, that is what it is. So if you're a dude and you're below average and you've noticed that, then guess what? Now you're like, well, let me find something else that I like to do because this shit with dating is not working out. And so dudes are finding hobbies and things and they're finding their purpose in life, which in turn makes them happy. And eventually they'll find somebody, you know, everything comes full circle. But, you know, in the meantime, they're not moping around life anymore. And I think that's a great thing. So I, I know those are the positives of Red Pill. Um, the negatives of Red Pill now. And I could have went along a lot longer with the positives. There's a lot more things I like about Red Pill, but, you know, I don't want to. Go. I don't want this video to be super, super long because it's already on its way to being a pretty long video. The negatives about Red Pill, man. Where to start? All right. Um, the first negative about Red Pill, I would say, is the damn. <laughs> it's so many places, but I, I don't want anything I say to take me in the, into like a big loophole of stuff. The first, the, the biggest thing I have a problem with with Red Pill is is the is the whining and the complaining. I just I know I already broke down. There's that's not the entire Red Pill community. It's a a sector of it, but that sector is fucking ridiculous, bro. It is that sector of fucking crybaby ass men are are are. Ugh, like I'm talking about awful. Like it's it, it is it is honestly it is heinously pussy. Yes, you heard that heinously pussy how they act. Not just pussy. No, they pussy, but they, but it's heinous. You know you know the word heinous? I I need to I wish I had the definition here. They are like imagine imagine the the most disliked person you know. The person that you dislike the most, so you, he just irks your nerve, and combine him with like the most disliked celebrity you know, and combine them with a a a a, a little sniveling little bitch. Like that's just them. This com all combined in one. It's, it it is real. Like I get on some of these videos, bro, and I just get so irritated and mad and annoyed, and it's like. Oh my goodness, bro! It, it, it is that sector alone is the biggest negative, and and and, I'm, and it, matter of fact, it goes deeper than them just bitching because I want to talk about this too. Here's the danger of these red pill dudes that all they do is complain instead of making solutions. Eventually, I'm not gonna say this is just an observation I have. What I think is gonna end up happening is a lot of these red pill dudes. Matter of fact, it's already starting to happen, but a lot of these red pill dudes. And these incels are going to start since well, they're going to come to realization that nothing's working. It's getting worse. They're going to not be this. They're still not going to be social because now you got like the meta thing coming out. Just everybody's going to be as socially awkward as as, as ever. These dudes are going to start lashing out super violently. They're going to start shooting stuff up, doing all those crazy things and just acting a fucking fool suicides but mainly i feel like they're gonna start hurting other people because eventually they don't realize well the suicide is hurting anybody else but me and i'm mad at the world so let me go get it at the world and i'm telling you right now bro that shit is going to be like if you a motherfucker and you don't know how to defend yourself you need to be ready to because a lot of these dudes are gonna start doing some bullshit we're gonna have to start putting some motherfuckers in the dirt because i'm telling you it's gonna keep coming so you know that is the, that that little sector is is the poison is the cancer of red pill and that needs to be cut out, you know, because they're just they're they're not they're not productive. They're not anything. They're just bitches, you know. They just whine and complain and and and, and fuss. And the only people that get mad about me saying that are the part are the dudes that don't. If you know you don't self improve, you know you don't. You're not doing anything to make yourself in better shape, to socialize better, to dress better, to 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 make more money or anything like that. And you're a red pill. You know you're a part of that community because all you do is whine. And I, I don't got no sympathy for that shit. Um, the other thing about the red pill community is one extreme. So, you know, for every action is a reaction. Feminism came around and, um, you know, it, it kind of made things. 
how they are today. And then social media, I think, exacerbated it pretty greatly to where it gave women a lot more options and things like that. So what I think is going to happen is now it's going to get to the point. Now, in fact, you, you, you're seeing it now. The, the, you know what the extreme answer is now to feminism is now they're voting dudes that are super duper duper far right and doing shit that's like now you got the uh, abortion bills and things like that. Now, though that right there is a, is a result of people trying to be so anti feminism and everything like, like that. That's their result is doing shit that's like kind of almost out, not even almost, it's shit that's just out of, out, out of outlandish, like forcing rape victims to keep babies. It's all types of crazy shit. Like that's, that is the extreme. So that's people trying to take it the other extreme side. That, that's the other negative side of it. Now, the thing about when you get two extremes, eventually things kind of come back to normal and balance out. But who's to say how long that might take? That might be another year it might be another five years we we really don't know i I can tell you right now the dating game now as compared to what the dating game was in 2019 is totally different totally different i don't give a fuck if you if you've been single for that time frame if you've been single since sometime during 2019 you're single now y'all it's way different way the fuck different now i wasn't uh, a matter of fact I was single in 2017 The dating game in 2017 Was way different than 19 and right now I mean like it, and, and when I mean way different Is like the Like 2017 You can get on Tinder Matter of fact You can see videos They just call it Tinder And all these other things It's hookup apps Where you can get on there And you just get some ads I had homies that was <laughs> Clearing I'm talking about Running through things on, on there 2019 came around Tinder was was full of bullshit, but you had a bunch of little other small apps that you can get, you know, get things going on. The Facebook dating app and all that stuff. So it was Tinder was the bullshit app, and then the other apps was, you know, the ones you could might 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 get something to land a little bit. Now it's just straight bullshit, and then you might come across some something every now and again. And that's with somebody who like I like I can say on Tinder, I I've I've gotten a, a good amount of bodies off Tinder. I know people that have been on Tinder for five, six years and have not fucked anyone on Tinder. I'm talking about five, six, seven years and have not had sex with a single woman or a relationship with a single woman on those apps. Back in 2017, that was unheard of. I don't know not one person. I'm talking about I was in the Marine, I had just joined the Marine Corps at the time. I'm talking about I knew some of the ugliest dudes with the most annoying personalities I've ever met that were cl- cleaning up on Tinder in 2017. Them dudes couldn't get a a, a, a response today. That's just how the day, the dating games change so much. So like the, the the way things drastically change in such a short amount of time, I could just see this red pill thing in the in the in the backlash against the feminism going way overboard very very soon and it's kind of like you know (laughs) you know where we go from here so it's just you know i can see that thing going pretty pretty bad um what i think the red pill will eventually evolve into though and this may just be wishful thinking but it's just my opinion i think eventually what the red pill will grow into is just uh, a, an example of of another stream. So I feel like uh, eventually, feminism, the stream feminism, and the stream red pill is going to balance itself out, and we're gonna look at you know a stream feminist and look at a stream uh, 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 red pill dudes like Andrew Tate. And, and we're going to look at them and be like, man, that was some dumb shit. The same way we look at, you know, certain viewpoints from back in the day, a hundred years ago. You know what I mean? We're going to look at some of these things and be like, yeah, that was way too much. Like, that was way overboard. That was way this, way that. And, you know, we're, we're, we're moved on. So I feel like it's it's a it's a good catalyst and it's a good... Um, I feel like it would evolve into something more positive eventually. If I say that. And, and that's not me saying that's not positive now. Because like I said... I. I gave Red Pill a lot of praise. There's a lot of great things that are awesome about Red Pill, and I want to continue. Uh, but you know, there's a lot, a lot of things. There's there's a lot of room for improvement. Um, 
And, you know, that being said, um, one thing I did want to touch on in this is the reason why I don't make red pill content. I mean, I, I don't know if you can call this red pill content. I was thinking about that before I made this video. I don't think I do. Because, I mean, I talk about relationships and women, but, I mean, I don't really... It's not from a biased standpoint. It's just from a, a, a goal-oriented standpoint. Because the way you deal with women as a... Because, understand this. Just because you're red pill doesn't mean you deal with women the way a, a man who's on his purpose does. That doesn't mean that at all. You, 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 you're you looking at it from a, a, a standpoint of not being manipulated and all this other stuff. I'm looking at it from a standpoint of... This is my life. My life is complete. I love my purpose. I love my goals. Don't bring bullshit into it or leave. That's 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 the difference. You right? Like this is you have to either be an asset to be in my life or just don't be in it. That's that's just the the the, the dating life of a purposeful man. That's the only difference between us. I mean, not the only difference. There's a few other ones, but that's the main difference. So that's the reason why I don't preach red pill content because I don't give a fuck. I don't I don't think it matters for me to teach you about. Women being hypergamous because if you're on your purpose, you're, you're, you're always improving. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you have a, a woman who, you know, who you are right now, or who you're trying to be isn't good enough, then who, fuck her. That simple, fuck that bitch. Like, who cares? Like, you know what? I'm not good enough as I, as is, then get the fuck on. That's <laughs> like, I, that's, that's really the attitude that, that you're going to have. So it's like, if there's no point in me telling you, oh, you got to do this to fuck him. You got to do this and you got to, uh, who? Get the fuck on. That's 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 why I'm at with it. That's you know what I mean. Oh well. So, whew. Yeah, this one went a little long, but I thought it was a, a good thing to touch on. Uh, I could have expounded on a lot of this a lot more. Uh, I might listen back to it and be like, well, let me go back and 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 touch on some more things and add this and add that. But we'll see. But um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Again, uh, Tenacious Rose is now available on Amazon, eleven ninety uh, nine ninety nine. Um, thanks for the support, man. I fuck with y'all. Y'all be easy, man. And this is Devon. Oh, my bad. <laughs> this is Devon. This is Reaper Training. We don't chase dreams. We hunt goals. Get back, gang. <laughs>